Let's hear once again for JT's Emeralds. Don't forget they have a CD for sale in the back. I have a copy of it. I've been playing it on the air, and it's getting great, great reviews. Great job, guys. In fact, uh, speaking of CDs, there's also some other merchandise in the back that you want to definitely check out. I'm going to show you some. Now, of course, Charlie Gracie has some CDs and uh, DVDs in the back, and uh, they're for sale. And Bill Haley's Comets, they have DVDs, they have CDs, and also there's a, a DVD back there, which is called The Wages of Spin. If you want to find out about the music industry in the Philadelphia area between 1952 and 63, this is the one you want to check out. It tells the real story. And of course, there's, there's shirts back there. There's all kinds of merchandise. Make sure when you leave, you leave with something that you can remember this night by. Now I'm going to take you back, way back, to South Philly, and a young man whose dad took him out shopping one day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he took him out to buy him a suit. He took him down to South Street to buy him a suit. But as they're walking down South Street, he changed his mind. He said, you know what? He said, instead of a suit, I want you to buy an instrument. So he decided he was going to get a trumpet. <laughs> and uh, his dad said, no, nah, you don't want, you want that. You want to take something you can sing along to. So he picked up a guitar. And from the moment he picked up that guitar, the face of music changed forever. The first international rock star to come out of Philadelphia, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Charlie Gracie.